from 1995, uh, I had a band, I had a band, uh, Lonesome Standard Time band, with uh, a dear friend of mine, a great fiddle player, his name's Glenn Duncan. And my daughter was born in 91, so long about 95, she was just kind of getting up where she was really doing stuff that was really fun. And we, we decided to quit working for a while. I didn't want to be, I wanted to be around where she was at. Anyway, uh, I made the mistake of going to see Del McCurry one night and then it got me to hanker to play again. So I had this, uh, these songs put together to make an album that had black diamond strings and some of these other things I've played tonight here. And, and my old buddy Larry Shell called me and he said, son, I've got a great song idea for us. And I said, well, well I don't know, I ain't much in the humor for it because I already had these songs set aside that I was going to do, you know. And, and you said, they're a whole different uh, approach to writing songs and actually going and recording them and stuff. It's just a whole different way of thinking. And I was already out of the mood to write anymore, you know. And I, I, I said, well, okay. It was, you know, kind of half-heartedly. I said, what is it? And he said, uh, it's called Murder on Music Road. Yeah. yeah. And I said, oh, gosh. Is it about killing country music? And he said, yeah, that's exactly what it's about. <laughs> so I said, well, okay, let me let me come down there. So in a, few, a day or two, two or three days, I went down there and he and I wrote this thing in a couple hours. And uh, I still did, didn't think about putting it on this record, but I play, uh, had a show to play out at the Bluebird with my old buddies Carl Jackson and Jerry Sally and maybe Jim Rushing. And I, I, I said, well, I'm going to play this song, you know, tonight. It's, it's new, so because we always try to work everything up together. And when I, literally, when I got to the hook of the thing, I mean, the place just a roof came off of it. And I was like, I was surprised because, I mean, it was new. I didn't halfway know it. And um, so I kind of told my band, and you know, I said, man, I never seen such a reaction to this thing. Because, you know, even in the... Late 90s there, 2000 around, there was hardly any country music left. It was about all gone. And so uh, I go to the station in the next time I play the band, and I played it, and the same thing happened, just the roof came off of it. So when we were in recording what became the Murder on Music Road CD, this was the last thing the last night that I recorded. It was after midnight when we did it. And um, just immediately, they, uh, we, we made a CD of it, and we didn't put anybody's names or any phone numbers or addresses. It was a blank CD, and I got some crime scene tape off of a policeman and wrapped around a, Larry Sheldon and wrapped around a package, and we took it to a local disc jockey. And they started playing this thing, and that's how George Strait and Alan Jackson got this song. So I want to play, this is Song of the Year in uh, CMA Song of the Year 2000. Yes, sir! And uh, IBMA Song of the Year, too. Since 
Yeah. 